Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be breaking down the finale ending, so the cliffhanger, but also what led up to the cliffhanger. So we'll be talking about that, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so, this video is a day late, I apologise for that, I ran out of time, but... I am going to be going to the Ultimates tomorrow, it's an event, it's a mainly Supergirl event and Nicole Maines is there, Kyla Lee, Floriana Lima, so if you are attending tomorrow, it's in England, in Birmingham, please be sure to say hi if you see me, I'm going to be there for the weekend, super excited, I'll have some videos up on the channel about it, and also I'm going to San Diego Comic Con this year, I'm super hyped, I can't wait. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Turn on notifications to not miss anything. So, let's get right ahead into this video, to this cliffhanger breakdown. So, basically, as we head towards the end of the last episode, so the finale, the last episode of Season 5, we see they set Reverse Flash free. By destroying the dagger, in turn, it makes it disappear, it's erased, and Reverse Flash is no longer dampened in terms of his powers, so he's able to get out. And then we get the whole sequence with Nora reversing time and you get the confrontation. So basically the timelines changed for both Thorn and Nora after this finale. And so after destroying the dagger, Thorn is able to escape because in that initial version of the timeline where the timeline wasn't completely changed, where the dagger still existed, you know, this version of Cicada still existed because you you have to remember this version took the meta human cure but the one we've been seeing the main villain she her she's a meta so she wouldn't be anymore so that's why she got erased and then Nora got erased because of all the tampering to do with the dagger and everything that reverse flash did he basically set it up so Nora would be his leverage essentially so he could escape and get out and Barry wouldn't be going after him essentially and so with that the dagger caused a lot of changes with them destroying it, but they had to do it to stop Cicada. So by the end of the finale, a completely new timeline is created. And, you know, we've changed quite a bit the last season or so because we've been dealing with Nora's time travel ramifications. We're on a completely new level. Like Ralph explained it a couple of episodes ago with the different version of Grace showing up. The timeline changed again. She kills her uncle who she grew up with in the future, so the timeline changed there, and Nora's changed it a couple of times anyway. You can go back and watch those episodes, and you can sort of figure it out. Uh, but for now, let's just talk about this ending. So, the dagger is gone. Nora goes as well. Nora could survive if she actually listened to what Reverse Slash said, if she was able to be consumed by the negative speed force. So, Barry and her, they run in, and essentially, if she were to go through she would basically be a completely different person. She would definitely be consumed by the anger that consumes Thorn. And I reckon if she did actually do it, she would be basically a version of like Inerta, if you know Inerta from the comics. I think she would be like reverse excess or reverse Nora, which we briefly saw a couple of times in the last few episodes, just glimpses. And so she was able to escape these changes and the way to do that is through the negative speed force unlike how reverse flash got erased in season one now he is obviously wiser and everything he knows he can escape the timeline changes and so this leads on to reverse flash fighting team flash and we see that he says see you in our next crisis and he sort of just smiles at iris and he will return in the crossover that's what it's teasing and as you know the newspaper article from 2024 which we'll talk about in just a sec that is all about the Flash and Reverse Flash. So it's obviously going to be some big changes in terms of Crisis on Infinite Earths for the TV show because it's been billed as Reverse Flash versus the Flash and all these other characters around and obviously the Monitor and the Anti-Monitor's coming. So I'm guessing the Anti-Monitor when he shows up, I'm presuming he is, right? Because, you know, he's the big villain of Crisis in the comics. So if he shows up, I'm guessing they will be working together somehow, that being Reverse Flash and him. And yeah, maybe Barry still disappears. Most likely, more than not, it's going to be like Oliver due to how the finale ended for Arrow. And so just quickly, before we get to that final cliffhanger, so we get these brief scenes teasing what's happening in season six of The Flash. So Cisco walks free. He's no longer a metahuman. And Caitlyn gets a new superhero suit. So 
I'm guessing this is going to be made obviously over the break and we're gonna see it and that's the reason why they didn't show it on the camera but I'm very excited for that Joe is now the captain that's going to be a big sort of background thing I think going into season 6 Sherlock with his girlfriend I think that's a wrap up for Sherlock's story and then Ralph's teaser is for what's happening next season in regards to him and Sue Dibney and that was the maiden name of Sue Dibney so that's a big thing in the comics so looking forward to what they do with him because I thought Ralph was actually very good this season I really liked him he was so much better than season 4 I really hated him in season 4 so he's definitely grown on me and so we move forward into the cliffhanger ending for the season 5 finale so this is crisis on infinite earths what they're teasing as Gideon says an incoming time flux and so essentially the timeline is being changed and you see it on the spot actually changing the 2024 newspaper article caused by the changes in the timeline in the flash finale that have made the timeline change due to reverse flash cicada the dagger nora all of these ramifications what they've been doing in the finale and what has led up to the finale has changed it so that crisis is happening in 2019 so that he's not going to disappear in 2024 and notably the article title and the text like all the writing stays exactly the same so it seems like all that has changed as far as we know is the date has just changed and it's much sooner and Barry's going to disappear and that's what Snora has been trying to do this whole time she failed so will she return I'll talk about that as we head towards the end of this video so we don't see a date only the year and we're presuming the date is going to be around the mid-season finale because that's normally when they do the crossovers like the Elseworlds crossover actually was I believe one episode after the mid-season finale for all these shows because they wrapped that up earlier I thought that was kind of smart how they did the crossover after the finales and with how Arrow ended in their season 7 finale with the massive time jump we're guessing that the Flash, Supergirl, maybe Batwoman, yeah Batwoman's definitely going to be in it, maybe some of the Legends, although they just announced Legends isn't coming back till the mid-season, so that's kind of crazy, I'll have a video out on that hopefully later today, but it seems like with these changes in the time jump in the Arrow finale, it seems like whatever happens in Crisis is going to have a big effect on what happened to Felicity, and where she was going, going to see him as they said, so obviously we can infer that Oliver's gone, Oliver is dead because you see the grave in the finale in the final scene so the headline is the same, nothing of the writing has changed so it seems like everything will be the same since you know what was teased in the Elseworlds crossover with Psycho Pirate giving that sort of speech at the end and we see the timeline changes and the article actually changed to include Batwoman and all these characters and excluding some of the other information that was initially there when the timeline was you know one of the first versions of the timeline back all the way into season one of the flash so this finale teases crisis but there's no real teaser for season six apart from what i said about cisco joe killer frost sherlock and ralph that's the only real season six tease because there's nothing like we've had in past seasons with Barry going into the Speed Force, with Flashpoint happening at the end of Season 2, or if we go to Season 4 more recently, we had Nora showing up. They all teased what was to happen in the next season of the show, so I was expecting a villain teaser, and I personally would have preferred a villain teaser than a Crisis teaser, because we all inferred that Crisis was going to be happening, obviously in 2019, that it was going to change. So it makes sense they included it, but I would have preferred a villain teaser, I think, or, you know, a different type of cliffhanger. But I appreciated the scene, but I was kind of expecting maybe a Red Death teaser because, you know, they've been teasing him this season and we had the name drop of him early in the season. And I do believe, as I've preached many times, they will go back to a speedster villain and they will go back to a mystery villain, but I think they should and I think they will. And I think Red Death is coming because they did that with DeVoe, they teased. And obviously at first when they said DeVoe in Season 3, I was very skeptical. I didn't even make a video on it because I was like, yeah, they're just throwing the name out. Like, what? doesn't really matter. But since we got DeVoe actually coming in Season 4 after that one teaser, I'm thinking now 
yeah, I think Red Death is coming. So I have high hopes, and I think, obviously, as we go into Comic-Con, maybe we'll get a little bit of a teaser, but I think they're only going to drop hints at the start of the season, at the start of season six, like what they did back in season three. Maybe they have a different villain, like a smaller villain, just at the start of the season, like a Doctor Alchemy, and then you finally build up to Savitar, you know, closer to the mid-season finale, and I think they're going to take a lot of the emphasis on Crisis at the start of the season, and then after that, I think a new threat is born after Crisis, and that being Red Death, most likely, more than not. Like, that's the only real sort of teaser we've had in regards to who could be the villain next season, so I believe that there's not going to be a main villain at the start of the season, maybe like a temporary villain like Doctor Alchemy, and then we have the emphasis on Crisis as we head towards that episode. So, just the last few questions as to what happened at the end of the finale and, you know, will these characters return? So, Cisco, will he leave or return? It seems like they've definitely set up that he's going to be leaving. We've had no official confirmation. It's only been rumours right now, so I'm guessing with the way they ended the finale, he is going to leave. But I think there's a chance that maybe it's sort of a bit misguided and it may be... Carlos wants to stay or you know appear in a few episodes in the season so the next question and the final question is will Nora return so will this be another version of Nora I think they want to keep Jessica Parker Kennedy because there's been a lot of love for her character I love her and I think everyone is unanimous that she's a very good presence on the show even if you aren't the biggest fan like me I'm a huge fan of Nora I thought Nora was great last season so yeah, I think maybe a different version of her could show up from maybe another timeline or another Earth in Crisis because I'm expecting lots of new characters in Crisis. Even if they only show up for cameos, they get killed off by the Anti-Monitor or Reverse Slash or something. So sh does she return for Crisis in 2019 as she failed her mission? Her whole mission was number one to stop Cicada, but in turn she wanted to do that in order to stop Barry from being erased in Crisis. So... It would make sense that she returns. I think they definitely should make her return for at least Crisis, or she may actually return like a different version of her from another different timeline, you know, early in the season heading towards Crisis. But I think it would be a missed opportunity because, you know, a big part of her plan was to save her father from, you know, vanishing in Crisis. And so I really do want her to return. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you're at the Ultimates tomorrow, say hi to me. I'm going to be there for a few days over the weekend. Super excited to meet Kyla Lee, Nicole Maines and everyone. Hopefully talk to some of you guys as well. Also, please be sure to check out my Flash finale review that I posted yesterday. Some of you might have missed it. So go watch that video. That would mean a hell of a lot to me. And yeah, so I'll have my CW Upfronts video later today that they announce a bunch of dates. Supergirl's changing time slots. They've got the official premiere date for Batwoman. So lots of stuff to go through and talk about. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.